Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Como están ustedes? I hope everybody's doing well. You know, I was reading some comments on YouTube and I had a question about two words in Spanish. And I thought, well, this is a quick lesson that I can give you and allow you just to kind of pick up the basics and then, and then take it from there and solidify it. And so I want to talk about these two different words. Uh, the words are these two, pero and sino. They both mean but, the conjunction B-U-T, um, you know, like I want to, but I can't. Um, so they both kind of mean the same thing. And there, there are, there's some confusion sometimes as to when do I use pero and when do I use sino. So I thought I'd bring you a little short mini lesson here during the week to help you kind of clarify those two. All right, so both of these words, pero and sino, mean but, B-U-T, <coughs> but, I just used it there. Um, we have two different kind of ways that we use them. Now, first of all, the word pero is it's used with two ideas that are not really contrasting each other. Okay, it's, it's more like you say something and then you say but, and then you say something else, and those don't really contrast each other. It's more like you're just adding to the sentence. You've got the first part and then I say but, and then I'm adding to it, okay? So here's an example. Um, I'm not from Canada, but I do speak English well. See, I didn't really contrast, the, and I don't have two contrasting ideas. I'm not from Canada, but I do speak English well. I'm just sort of adding to that thought. So, no soy de Canadá, pero hablo inglés bien. That might be an example of how to just add to the sentence using but. Here's another one. Um, Juan is tall, but not very strong. Okay, Juan es muy alto, pero no muy fuerte, right? So that's another example. Let me just give you one more. Uh, it's sunny today, but it's cold. So I say sol hoy, pero hace frío. Just adding to the idea, all right? Now, sino, on the other hand, is typically think of, but rather, okay? Because I am saying it's not this, but rather this. All right, so here's an example. I don't like steak, but rather chicken. All right, so that would be, no me gusta el bistec, sino el pollo. All right, that's contrasting the first part, but rather. Here's another one. Carmen is not short, but rather tall. Carmen no es baja, sino alta, okay? Now here's just a quick little extra note for you to wrap this up. When I use sino separating two conjugated verbs, well, I'm gonna usually say sino que, if I'm, if I'm separating two verbs that are conjugated. So here's an example. No voy a la casa de mi amigo, sino que ceno con mi novia. So ceno means to have dinner, I have dinner, cenar is the verb. So I'm not going to my friend's house, but rather I'm having dinner with my girlfriend. And that's it. Now, that's just the basics. I, I encourage you to um, get online and, and just search sino versus pero or pero versus sino in Spanish. There are lots of great websites out there that explain this more, and they all have different examples. So go to those examples and try to look at just a bunch of different ones, because really I've just given you the basics here, right? So go and practice that, because the more you practice, the more it just sounds natural. And this is like way back when you did ser and estar, you had to think about the difference between the two. You'll do that for a while with this as well, but after a while, it just becomes natural, okay? Keep on practicing. Hope everybody has a great one. I'll see you on the next time with the Language Tutor. Hasta pronto. Friends, thanks for watching the Language Tutor. If you have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section below the video. And please click subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll never miss any of our language lessons.